going on everybody as promised i'm taking there this motor go. apart there you go today is the day is the day so uh hmm, i'm gonna take it down see if i can uh crack that copper out of there let's do this Silver contacts, like massive. Wow, that's nice.
it's all copper goodness right there. Even these runs are copper. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm gonna cut these off. Cut them off here. I'm gonna cut them straps. Get these cut off so that these are separate. These, they got paper on them. They're gonna be a number two uh, copper. And then look at this massive thing that came out of the center of this thing. Um, man, so I gotta take out a few more few more of them things there and um wow so i i mean i don't even besides smashing this thing with a hammer i'm not sure how i would recover all that oh my goodness um i might bring it to the scrapyard and say how do i sell this to you i don't know but i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that copper out of there guys you know i don't really don't think i can do it. I mean, I've seen hit, people hit these with a hammer before and smash it, and it kind of breaks eventually, because there's a pretty good chunk around that, as you can see. So, well, all right. So I still haven't taken it off the head right there, but man, wow, this is what I got out of this thing. This, and I got this heavy. This is a heavy piece of steel. That's considered heavy steel. Um, I still have these to crack open, which I know what's in there, and we're going to find out in a minute. I'm not going to leave you hanging on that we've got the pieces that held it into place and the end that is going to be cleaned up a little bit and sold for i believe a piece of clean cast aluminum yeah i think so we've got these beautiful i mean these beautiful uh little these are all um silver silver contacts little silver buttons but these buttons are massive massive um you can just see the silver on there and I got a few of them, a few of them. So we're gonna go through them. So that's what we got for small stuff. And this is what we got for big stuff over here. And uh, we're gonna tear one of these apart right now. Sorry about the dizziness there, that's never being focused so close. Makes it kind of look like I'm moving quick. But uh, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see all this goodness. Yep, all right. Wow. Two massive spools, massive piece of copper here in the middle. Got all this copper and silver contacts. I will be taking them silver contacts off, by the way, heating them up with the torch or just saving them one of the two. Uh, not letting them go anywhere. Um, some shred steel. Uh, we got a little bit more cleanup to do on this um, cast aluminum piece here. It weighs a pretty good amount, four or five pounds there. And uh, yeah. a few more miscellaneous bolts. All right, guys, that was it. That was it. I told you I was going to tear it down. Um, as you can see, the only thing I really have left is to uh, loosen this spindle up right here. And that's just so I can get this cover off of there. I'm sure that thing will pop off. And then figure out what I'm going to do with this, whether I start sledging hammering it or, or what. I mean, do I cut that with a sawzall all the way around and try to beat it off of there? I don't know. Does anybody have any clues? Because I'm going to hold on to it until I hear something about how to clean these things up. Because that is massive. But I got number one steel, and it's a heavy piece. And I don't know, there's got to be... I don't know, 20 pounds, maybe 15 pounds of copper. I don't know, maybe not that much, but we'll find out in the next video. I'm gonna bring that stuff in and weigh it, guys. Oh, I had a good time, though, out here tearing that thing down. And yeah, it's, uh, what is today even? It's Monday, for crying out loud. Time is flying by so fast. Yeah, I wanna say, to, you know, hello to some of my friends there, uh, out there. Um, Papa Scrap, go check out my Papa Scrap. Scrap Man 69, Scorpion Metals. Um, big Nation Scrap. That's uh, what used to be Big Country. If you need to find him, Big Big Scrap Nation. Excuse me. He's got a great channel too. He's got like quite a few subscribers for just very few videos that he has. So I'm impressed with that new channel. Um, let me see who else. I mean, I just can't even think of it right now. Well, all I can think about is I think I'm ready to call it a day. And go back in the house and chill out for the rest of the day because I've already made a dump run. 
Um, let me see. I did $129 at the scrapyard, and I did um, $40 at the next scrapyard, the guy that buys my rims. So that's not a bad day, $166. Bucks. I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, all right, guys. Scrap with Grandpa. What's next? What's next? What's next? Well, a little bit on this, and then, to be honest with you, still have that thing to take apart and that thing so i'm guessing this one looks a lot like that one except bigger so these are my next two projects right there